The story began centuries ago with the appearance of Akolo, a mysterious craftsman in a small town called Ejuka at the banks of a great lagoon. Akolo the craftsman settled amongst blacksmiths and woodcarvers and soon began to teach even the best craftsmen in town from his wealth of experience. And because of his mastery, his fame soon spread across the town and beyond. However, his legend truly began after he brewed the first indigenous brew of that era. To perfect his recipe, he traded some of his artworks with European merchants in exchange for ingredients never seen before in that part of the world. People came from far and wide just to taste Akolo's unique brew. Akolo's successes got him the attention of the king, who rewarded him by making him a member of his advisory council. However, in all his fame and fortune, Akolo closely gathered the secret of his brew to his heart and never revealed the recipe to anyone, not even the king, who he had formed a close bond with. As the fame of Akolo's brew grew, merchants formed a new trading route with Ijuka, which gave the town a greater economic power. But then, enemies began to gather with the aim to invade, plunder Ijuka's wealth, and most importantly, to find the secret recipe of Akolo's brew. On getting wind of this plot by her neighbors, the king consulted Akolo to plan how best to defend Ijuka. Akolo devised a genius battle plan which helped the vastly inexperienced and outnumbered Ijuka forces to win a battle against the vastly superior force. But then, Akolo's victory only gave rise to a new breed of enemies. Powerful forces within the king's advisory council became jealous of his popularity and feared that the king might make him his successor. They plotted severally to kill him, but he managed to outfox them at every attempt. Akolo became wary of all these attacks and then he feared for his life. He retreated deep into the mangrove forest and was never to be seen again, taking with him his wealth of knowledge contained in an iron chest. Ijuka would manage to survive for a few years, but the loss of Akolo drastically affected its fame and fortune. Enemies began circling around and regrouped for another assault on Ijuka. The battle was swift and one-sided as the foreign invaders laid waste to the once prominent town. Ijuka became a shadow of itself living in fear of unannounced invasion from foreign threats and in constant regret of the flight of Akolo. Secretly hoping for a day when the wise Akolo the craftsman would walk back into their mist. But in time, their hopes gradually faded away, just like the morning mist. Since it's common knowledge that Akolo the craftsman's last location was his ride into the mangrove forest, the council of elders would be sending worthy adventurers on a search back in time to the age of craftsmanship. Their task will be to search and discover Akolo's secrets in the iron chest never recovered. Their journey will be daunting and the odds will not be in their favor. They have to defeat their doubts. They must learn from each other. But first, they must become skilled craftsmen themselves. And the one who returns with the iron chest will be celebrated as a champion. The search begins. Gulda, now crafted with passion. Also available in 45 CL bottles and 44 CL cans. Our 18 contestants arrive at the coastal town. Three maidens dressed in their traditional costume each carrying local pots, approaching the confused looking contestants. Oh, did I mention too, that the people are very pleasant and welcoming to strangers. Life is in phases, so will your journey. The bearer of the calabash has lanterns. Each one, pick one. There seems to be a message for our contestants. Align yourselves by the colors of your lantern. Your lantern color represents your clan. It seems the Council of Elders have something in store for our contestants. You will find compasses with coordinates that will help guide you in your quest. Each group will have to seek directions for more clues as indicated in the scrolls within the calabash. Looks like this year will be a different twist to other editions of the Golda Ultimate Search. A sign of what is to come, maybe, in a world where the mundane has become the order of the day, 
where there is no longer strict attention to details and the art of craft is seen as old-fashioned. There became a need to bring back an age that promotes the importance of skill, attention to detail and precision. That age of craftsmanship. The clarion call was made and over 20,000 people heeded the call. It was a search for the best of the best across the land. Not an easy task, but we eventually found our final 18 ultimate warriors who will compete for a total prize of 50 million Naira. Now, this is getting interesting. How did we get here? The only reason why I'm here is to break that 10 years gist that no woman has ever won get the ultimate search. The screening for the Golda Ultimate Search Season 12 began in Abuja. Hundreds came out to show the stuff they are made of. Ladies and gentlemen, officially, your journey starts. Good luck. As usual, it was time for the physical events. I'm still trying to catch my breath. I'm still trying to we actually actually try to process everything because I didn't expect this. But I'm happy I'm here. I'm here to win, go all through the way, here to compete and come out the winner. The warm-up race have got some panting already. I wish they knew what lies ahead. Almost everyone looked bright and pumped up for the physical audition. Go! Seriously, this is intense. Whatever the task is, I'm in, I'm all in. One by one, they fell off as they gave their best. Some stood strong, pushing themselves to the limits of their endurance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, four, nine. We just squatted for five minutes and um, it's really not funny. But I'm hoping that it will get better. Go! If, if your bottle breaks, breaks, you are disqualified. Now, the beautiful thing about today for me is, is nostalgic in the sense that I'm back to the same grounds where I passed my auditions. I'm glad to be a point of reference. And so far, let the best man win. All the best women this time around. A 
only a few made it to the next stage. If you know you cannot swim, please step aside. Swimming can be a tricky affair. I usually wonder why some say they can when they know they can't swim. Well, I tried my best. Oh well, what do I know? We just finished the swimming contest and uh, I made it through. We thank God. The purpose of this journey is still yet to be known, so I just hope and trust in God. I am very, very happy I came out successful. I was able to get to the end of the pool, and I'm so happy for that. Not everyone will make it into the Gulda Ultimate Search. Many will be called, but only few will eventually be chosen. Actually, I can swim very well, but then I just dive in aspect and everything. When they just say, you must guy said, go. All of a sudden, everybody just dive inside the water. Then I was just trying to, like, accommodate my, I wanted the water to accommodate me first, like, just to relax my mind. My, I think I was just a bit tense or something. This taskmaster is tired. Anyways, uh, look forward to the other regions. Um, for now, Abuja, thank you so much for having us. And hope to see the selected ones in the jungle. State, 042, as it is commonly referred as, was a beehive of activity. Definitely, I feel like I stand a chance because I'm the only big girl here. I feel like I have what it takes. It doesn't have to do with power, it doesn't have to do with strength, but I feel I'm mentally ready. Many have come out to compete for the place in the Golda Ultimate Search. Morale is high. So is their determination. If looks could determine winners, then most of our contestants here are already winners. But looks can be deceptive. It is never an easy task to make it into the Golda Ultimate Search. Your physical and mental strength will not only be tested, but your endurance as well. And the rains came down. Even that wasn't enough to stop them. Swimming will be better. Or oh, I probably spoke too early. Go! Out, 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 come back, out, 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 out. It takes will and perseverance to push yourself further. So I feel very excited. I, I didn't know I can. I can do this. I, at first, I wanted to chicken out. When I saw the pool, I wanted to. I just wanted to take exit, and they told me that if I if I don't do it, I'll be disqualified. So I told myself it's better to try. 
and fail than not to try at all and be disqualified. So I did it and I, I didn't know I could do it. For the ultimate warrior, there is only one way and that is forward. Initially I was feeling tense and I was just telling my, my fellow aspirants how tense I'm feeling. But I always have this belief that if you're determined, you can always push harder. But in all, some stood tall at the end. I am expecting to record for probably the next interview or for the final selection or probably going into the jungle, which I believe is my destination. Season 12. Today we are at the Lagos State Regional Selection where we're going to be selecting potential ultimate men and ultimate women. There is something always different and magical about Lagos. The sheer diversity of hopefuls is one that is not replicated anywhere else. Who's not excited? 100% excited that long time legend is back. We share good ultimate start. Good ultimate, ultimate search is back. back! Maybe Lagos will yield more warriors. Men and women of valor assemble to start their journey for a place in the Golda Ultimate Search. I'm very ready because I've done my fiscal drills, I've done my water drills, I've done everything necessary to be selected. The harder some came, the harder they fell too. Smart set. We're almost there! We're almost there! Some practically gave up. Others tried to stay the course. Smart nice! Welcome to the Gold Ultimate Set. I feel I have what it takes to survive. 17, 18, enjoy it, enjoy it. Hold it down, hold it down, squat hold, squat hold, squat hold. Let's go. Now, if you cannot swim, raise your hand above your head. Sir, please step to the right. Thank you very much for your honesty. I don't think they are going to swim. I don't think so. But when it comes to survival of the fittest, I can do it. I was not struggling. The problem is that I like diving. So. That's just it. Maybe some of the contestants can redeem themselves with the swimming. For some, it's a seamless task. There was an IG ball. I don't know where I was trying to rush. Aww. So I found myself standing in one place. But for many others, it felt like drowning in your own confidence. I'm not done. How to finish? How to finish like this? How to finish my swimming? What finish your swimming? I tried! You made it! I tried my best. What happened? Hello. I said, you see, we can't hear. I can't give up. Although I, you know, well, at least I got to the finish line. That's the good thing. Even if I get dropped here. Woo! I made it to the swimming! I went through some uh, YouTube videos to learn how to go, go through it. But I believe if you do that, you're supposed to practice. But I just thought probably what I learned on the video could um, actually help me. Many came, saw, and conquered. 
Oh, it went really well, it went really well. Uh, we're already tired from the first three exercises, but we had to push through and I'm happy I'm here. The lucky ones got the opportunity to go into the next round. I tried my possible best in diving in the water. Take your time, take your time. It's all well, at least I rescued myself. But for the unlucky ones, it was gloom and sadness. My mom called me before we started swimming. I'll be careful and blah, blah. So it was on my mind. So... <sighs> I've seen strong people. I've seen brave people. I've seen slow people. I've seen really fast people. I've seen desperate people. And I've also seen people who are willing to push beyond the limits. Now I've seen potential ultimate men and ultimate women. But who gets into the jungle? Oh. My name is Kunle Remy. I am your taskmaster, and I look forward to seeing you in the jungle. It was a journey well worth it. We had our 38 contestants who will be going to sea school for the final auditions. A place where leadership and quantitative skills will be tested. Welcome to sea school. Thank you, sir. All right, in sea school, are we good to go? Good to go, good to go, good to go, sir. Only 18 will go into the jungle for this year's quest. Are we happy? Go, sir. A one, a two, a three, a four. 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 This is the way we start the day. This is the way. There is no room to rest. A true warrior is always prepared. It was over, under, together, and teamwork. It was tough for some. And tougher for others. Some of the contestants never saw this coming. But one thing you can't fault was determination. Nobody wanted to go back home, but only 20 will make it to the final audition, where our 18 warriors will eventually emerge. And for the 20 finalists who made the cut, no one knew who would emerge as a top 16, while the remaining four will go on to be the wild cards. Two out of these will be voted back into the show by the audience as their favorites. Hmm. I've always wanted to be part of something bigger than myself. I've always wanted to go the long haul. I've always wanted to come out of my comfort zone and do something differently. And uh, Good Old Message gave me that opportunity to do it. To be honest, I didn't know that the auditioning was going on the day it went on, on at the stadium. I, I didn't have access to my mail, so I normally train some models uh, on how to cut work and, um, and all that. So I gave them an appointment that Tuesday to come meet me at stadium as usual. By the time I got there, I, I saw the go out message stuff at the pool side, and I was like, what's going on? I signed up for this stuff. So I went and asked one of the ladies uh, wearing the go t-shirt, and she, she was like, oh, we're having the audition in today. So you should meet one of our admin and rectify that. So. I stayed back, so I suspended the training I came for. They took me to one of the officials and then the, they went through the system and were like, ah, oh, but the message was sent to you, how come? I was like, I couldn't access my mail. So I had to use another phone, log into my mail, and I saw that the mail was actually there, just that I, I didn't have access to it. So immediately they rectified that. I was like, so I can audition? They were like, yeah, sure. So I quickly rushed down to my car, changed all my joggers and my trainers, and then that was it. Now. 
there are so many reasons and so many things that um, actually motivate me to do this. One of them was the, some dreams and some goals that I have in my head. I've learned a whole lot, you know, when it has to do with teamwork. And um, I started up um, a law degree in 2013 in Ghana, but couldn't finish it up because uh, my dad wasn't there again, so I couldn't pay up, so I had to come back and pick up another program. I've always wanted to go back and finish up that um, that degree because of the passion I have for Lego practice. With this uh, opportunity that Gold Ultimate Search has given to me and given to us, whatever fund I get from this, it will mean a whole lot, not just to me, but to people around me. I'm here because I want to rewrite the history of Golda Ultimate Search with my own story. I was left all alone. I lost my parents and my siblings. I'm trying to do it on my own. And I put myself through school. I was on scholarship. Then when I came for the audition, I had some friends telling me, man, you don't know anybody out there. Who's going to help you out? Ultimate Search training is fake. Your selection is not based on bias. It's actually fake. If someone like me can get to the stage, any other person can come here. Entertainment is me, I'm entertaining. So, fucking about entertainment. Since entertainment has been part of me, I'm gonna have the time to represent the brand anywhere. I want the world to look at me and like, okay, this guy is the product of gold ultimate sash. There's one particular person that I would have loved to be here at this point in time, but unfortunately, she's not here. My mom, my late mom. <laughs> so I was very close to my mom. Okay, I was very close to my mom. I I love sports. I love sports. I love sports. Um, in primary school, I was the sports prefect. When I got to university, I continued my pursuit of sports. But you know, Nigeria, pursuing sports and education can be a bit tedious. So uh, I was the sports director. I was the one-time sports director of my department in school. I was the coach of the football team in my final year. And so the motivation for me for joining Good Ultimate Search, aside from sports, one other thing I love is the military. What I would do with the money if I win is because I was denied the opportunity of chasing my dreams, in sports, I would like to help others, um, upcoming generation, build sports academy. Because education doesn't just have to be confined to the four corners of the classroom. Now, when they see that the money is there in sports, now people are now pushing their children, oh, yeah, go and do sports, go and play football. I want to be able to give people the opportunity to pursue their dreams. Service to humanity is the best work of life. And I, what I tell people is, our gift in life is for us to help others. The river, the river doesn't drink its water, it serves others. The river gains its fulfillment from serving others. So whatever gift you have, whatever talent you have, whatever passion you have, it is for you to serve others. So I don't like dishonesty. I don't like people that are not accountable for their actions. It will be fun for me, especially, it will be fun. I came for this show because I've always wanted to be part of it right from when it started, when I was still a teenager. I always wanted to experience it. But why I came this year was, I had a business somewhere in Guarimpa. So on Christmas day, our shop burned down. So they gave us back the place just this year for us to start all over. I needed something to keep me away, something that would just calm me down. I needed an experience or something that would take me away from the normal world. And then I just went online and I saw Good Out Me Search is back. And I was like, wow, this is what I've always wanted. I didn't know I would get to this point. I felt all those people were better. They look scary. And I didn't have any of them here. I had one teammate, she was a, she's an athlete. She, so I felt she was like a competition, but she couldn't meet up. The reason I came into the competition, first and foremost, I did it because of my mom. She's a single mom and she's been doing all her best for us for the family and I feel it's, it's something I should do at this early stage of life to help her with some of her needs and goals in life as well. Then another thing I came to realize is it's not just for myself, I didn't come to the competition for myself but secondly for the brand, for the brand Golda. I feel, I feel people should know about the brand and I feel it's, it's my job as a business student to advertise and market the, the brand once I'm out of the jungle. So what if I didn't make it? 
I feel I'll be proud of myself because I, I had to take the bold step to face my fears and I did a lot of things I deep down I, I know on a normal circumstance I, I might not do. When I first saw the crowd I was quite scared because I mean but I had to put my fears in front of my fears. That's how I scaled through the challenges I had. I had to keep my focus straight. I had to think of my mom. She wouldn't want to see me fail. So I, I kept pushing on, though I felt like, okay, yeah, I was the youngest. So I felt people with experience, they are more, they are more advanced than I am, but my faith kept me strong. I'm here to improve myself in all capacity possible. And uh, also, uh, because I'm a fitness instructor, uh, Good Ultimate Search, it's actually the best platform for me to be able to showcase what I do, sir and will also aid in uh, my, my, my vision and my goals also as well, sir. It's been an awesome and it's been a bittersweet experience so far, sir, because, uh, well, I think coming from Bauchi, uh, I've never really been in a competition before. This is the first time, although I work out like every single day because I, I do train people. I'm a personal fitness trainer, but like, I think from the regionals that I came the first time, wow, it was, it was really tough. I mean, going through the squat session that we started with and holding it for five minutes, like it wasn't, it wasn't easy at all. And more importantly, I realized that it's not just about your professionalism as a fitness person. And I've, I think it's, it's about endurance and technique also as well. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't really, really thought that I was, I, was going to, um, I was going to be able to make it to the next phase, like seriously. But I just go in there and I give my best. Sir. If I don't make it to the jungle, sir, at least I've learned a lot. The lessons that I've learned. The lessons that I've learned, I'm going to incorporate it into my own personal life, sir. And I am not going to stop competing. I think this, this has really opened my eyes to certain realities because now I now know my level of capacity because I've never really tested it before. And I think I'm just getting started, sir. My passion in life is will. My drive is will. If I say will, it makes me feel like I should excel in anything I do. I don't give up on things. James Allen said, you will what you will to become. And I am a teachable person. I learn new things. I learn, I, I try to, to venture into new adventures and try to see things from different perspectives. And the journey of my ultimate search starts 2009. The reason why I feel I'm supposed to be here is like, I'm a man searching for purpose. And God has brought something that gets every young athletic Nigerian on their brink to their TV if you don't want to come. But when you choose to come, it makes you to stay off vices like drugs, makes you rest well, makes you exercise, which is going to be benefit to you on the other side and prepare you for that activity that you intend to do. It has really come a long way, my, my dream and belief. Um, I, I grew into a family, a military family, and I've seen the sacrifices my dad put in for the nation. And that drew me into understanding the fact that giving back to people is the ultimate goal in life. With that, I've tried my best to see a way that I can give back. I, I tried to get into the Nigeria Defense Academy 11 times. I got into the interview four times. I didn't still make it. I, I tried getting into the short service four times. As I'm speaking, I still applied for the Air Force short service, which is still ongoing. This is just the, for the main reason of giving back. My life is just all about giving back and helping people to grow. Seeing them grow makes me very happy. And this is a platform for me to actually achieve that. This journey has been the sweetest. Sometimes I pinch myself and ask, are you, especially when I was on the flight, I was like, are you the one flying for another set of interview? It's been a roller coaster, it's been a good ride. I can say the disappointment was for the first one, but for this, I, I believe that it has been a very good one. The, the, the organizers, they've done perfectly well in bringing us together. I know the competition is a lot, seeing numerous participants. Sometimes I get, I fidget and say, wow, competing against such people. But I just have to believe, if it's yours, it's yours. If it's not yours, 11 times tried the NDA till now I'm not still a military man. So I've already grew past that stage of getting disappointed.
from Abuja to Enugu, and eventually birthing in Lagos, the regionals had young men and women who were determined to be part of this year's search. They gave their all, but for some, their all was not good enough. It wasn't all tasks, running and swimming at the regional selections in Abuja, Enugu and Lagos. There were fun times too, and our cameras captured them. Okay, the best thing about me is that I can actually really adapt anywhere I see myself. That's how I look. Okay, pay 15. Like, just have to put a touch on the beauty. I don't have to do I have to give it all my best. I could wear 50 dishes. That's part of it. I'm very lively. There's no dull moment with me. Why do I want to be on God Alton Research? Let's just call it curiosity. I am the ultimate man, so I might just say I'm signed, sealed, ready for delivery. My skill got the whack and the shivering. I'm the ultimate, like my name is Gouda. I'm living like Flush, like the king of Zamunda. I'm a referee. If you rap whack, I give you a red card. <laughs> I've been drinking Gouda for up to like 10 years now. You can try me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me, uh, I'm not a saint. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Yo, viewers at home, you are on to go to Ultimate TV reality show. Um, the theme for this year is the age of craftsmanship. This is my fifth time. I tried once before and um, it didn't work for me. Yes, I've auditioned before. I've gotten to interview too before. Twice. 2013, 2014. I'm just going to bring sauce and reality to the show. My heart was really, really, really racing. I mean... <laughs> Brave fast comes to all of us. <laughs> See now, man's still single. I'm thinking of considering someone, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I have a boyfriend in a relationship. <laughs> Since the beginning of this audition, for some reasons, I've just been thinking good. I don't know why. Like I said, I like giving people the unexpected. <laughs> I'm here. Gold Search. Ladies and gentlemen, it is seven years gone and you've been waiting. Started from the year 2004. Here it is, like always and ever before. The brain quarters stand from different parts of Nigeria to survive in the wild. The finest of the best. Against nature itself. They have to complete physical tasks and mental tasks and fast too. It is season 12, bringing you the adventure, the glamour, the fame, the fortunes, all you need to survive in the jungle and all you need to keep your family together every now and every day. This is Gouda Ultimate Search, the age of craftsmanship. The interviews have served us a cocktail of talent, laughter, and so much more. Eight were shortlisted from Enugu. Abuja gave us the highest number of 16 and Lagos had 14 people. Let's hear from the remaining of the 20 finalists from the C-School. Actually, when I was selected at the stadium as the, one of the system members in my badge to go for swimming, which was the last task, and knowing myself as a good swim, swimmer, I knew definitely that I was going to pass that particular stage and when we got to the swimming task, I was able to prove myself worthy of it as I was the only girl in my badge that was able to swim. I believe Good Ultimate Search is a very big platform that will give me the voice I need to boost my profile and with the voice, I will have a great influence on the society, especially on the youth and especially on women in particular. In the aspects of motivation, a lot of youth out there, so many of them have given up. Why so many of them have resorted to crime? This program actually gave me the first opportunity to enter flights. For the first time in my life, I entered plane. Huh? <laughs> Finally, when I entered the plane, I'm not the picture type of person, but I had to take that picture. <laughs> If I don't make it to the jungle, I believe I will be going home the same way I came here because the series of tasks will be subjected to since I came here has, you know, impacted a lot in my life and it has changed a lot of things about me, especially in terms of mindset. If you think you are strong, go to good out screening tasks and you'll find out that you are just starting. 
I train people for a living. I'm a bodybuilder and I'm a hybrid athlete. Hybrid athlete meaning I participate in more than just one sport. Okay, so I do multiple, multiple sports. And there's a particular sport that I do which is not common in Nigeria yet. I do calisthenics. So calisthenics is the form of exercise where you use your body weight to build muscles. It's a bit advanced and it's something that I would like to see go big in Nigeria. There's a saying that if money no day, they kill idea. But I don't want my own case to be like that, okay? So that's why I came on this platform to get the money and work on my brand, improve my standard of living and the standard of my family as well. Because if I grow big, they are growing big as well. I've been a survivor, you know? So growing up in a family where everybody practically depends on you, you can't be lazy, you know? I had to drop out of school twice. What I was making wasn't so much. In terms of personality, okay, so uh, I like honesty and I like people that, uh, people that have integrity. Air peace, your peace, Argo. The new Golda, now crafted with passion. Also available in 45 CL bottles and 44 CL cans. First of all, the price. I want to enlarge my NGO. Probably if it is health-wise, I do render assistance too. I'm a caterer, so I do outdoor and indoor services. So I want to enlarge those too. Things I like, I love um, honesty. I don't like people disappointing me. I benefited a lot from this C school and I'm glad I made it through here. I feel like this show, it kind of marries all my skills, talents, and uh, things I've developed over the years and given me the proper platform to showcase it. Because I personally feel like events happening in my life have unknowingly been preparing me for this particular moment. I've been a swimmer since the age of four, uh, a martial artist since the age of 12, 13, got to the level of black belt. Uh, also picked up weightlifting and then I also had my music career running on the side as an artist, singer and a music producer. So I'm no stranger to entertainment. Winning for me is not as important as the experience I can gain. So what, what could be the solution for burning um, carbon monoxide? We can look at um, solutions such as renewable energy. I'm the last child of six. Uh, I'm the only boy and the last, so it's a very special position in my family. I studied um, zoology in University of Lagos. Even though I didn't practice it, I had a different passion for art. So I went for a couple of trainings in filmmaking and I became a film director. It's gonna be a great privilege to just be chosen to be among the final few and hopefully to actually win. I have a passion for the good art message because it falls within my hobby. I love the adventure around it. I've applied five times and then I got it out of the stage on the final. That was the good art message nine. So, so basically, I'll say uh, those past times, good I always recorded this. Um, I was the opportunity to actually watch myself. And then I'll say back then, if I was going to give myself a, uh, a chance to the jungle back then, I would not give myself a chance because I wasn't mature enough. I wasn't confident enough. This time around was when the game began. I had to walk up to my manager where I work. He didn't even look twice. He just said, go. And then I got an approval to come. So that actually gave me more motivation. Like, there's no distraction. There are so many things to do on the internet to make money instead of using cybercrime. There are companies, there are organizations providing solutions, providing employment for Nigerian youth. So I'm fully here as myself, fully concentrated, fully ready, and I'm good to go for the jungle. Well, the main reason why I wanted to come for this show is since I was actually little, so I've been watching the show and I've liked it a whole lot. I like the jungle aspect and every other thing. Although I didn't really know how to swim before, I actually learned how to swim because I've always been saying, man, if I go for this ultimate search one day, the only issue I would have was swimming. So I had to learn how to swim. 
When I was little, I was used to always climbing things though, yes. Most times they would even beat me because of it. Sometimes I climb fence, I climb trees to pluck um, fruits and the rest. This is a platform that we actually, that we boost my career. Of course, if I should come out as a winner, everybody will want to be like, wow, wow, this is... So it will help my music career apart from any other thing. Above all, I would, going for my NYC service, I would like to go there as a celeb. Going in there, they'll see me that, ah, this is the new that means. So it gives me this thing. So I, the fact that I'm here, I have the morale that I'm still going to push to the end, no matter what it takes. I try to double my base in whatever I do. Being here alone is a blessing. So if I don't get it, if I don't get it straight to the jungle, it doesn't, it's not an end of life. It doesn't mean I'm a loser. It just mean I might just come back next year to buckle up times two of what I've done. The new Gouda, now crafted with passion. Also available in 45 CL bottles and 44 CL cans. I literally had my notes where I write to my future self. I tell myself, you are going to make it. You are going to become a star. I hate greediness, anger, I hate jealousy, and I hate covetousness. I believe I possess the mental and physical dexterity to pull out any task. I am a UI UX designer, so with my designs, I can infuse it into what I do. I know if by the grace of God I enter the jungle, I know I'm coming for that prize. I'm married, I have five kids, and I'm a professional athlete. I work with the paramilitary. First of all, I'm going to take the security measures very, very seriously. I like um, people who are transparent, and people who I dislike are people who cheat and who lie. My motivation for coming on this show is, number one, I love adventures, and aside the fact that I love adventures, of course, I would also like to win. It hasn't been just my physical strength, but I feel there's a God factor in it, so I just thank God. If it's by physical strength or physical ability, I feel I should be in the jungle. I know I should be in the jungle, but if by maybe other assessments, which I may not be aware of, I am not in the jungle, I would feel bad, but sure, I will try again. I still hope to win, and if I win, of course, my business wins, my brand wins, and my family wins as well. My journey so far has been very, very challenging. Coming from a family where we don't have much, so I, like we said, do things, we said doing things by ourselves on time. And but I'm grateful for all that today. I thank God that I even got to this stage. It was not easy. Yeah. I actually think I can win the ultimate prize because I've got all the tickets. If I win the ultimate prize, 10% of it, I think will go to charity. I like, because I have not, lately I've been doing more of collecting than giving. The remaining, I have to plan myself, plan on doing investing and doing some business too. I actually like people that are honest, people that are themselves. And I dislike pretenders, liars, and people that want to take you for granted just because you're nice and kind to them. Over the last seven years, we put the show on hold, but we received a lot of feedback from our customers, from our consumers, from all the fans requesting that we bring the show back to the TV screens. And that's what we are doing here today. What season was it now? Season four. Season four. Mm -hmm. What exactly did you have to go through? But I mean, you don't look like uh, anything faces you, you know. 
Well, in the jungle or here? Um, in the jungle, I mean. Uh, a lot of things. I mean, initially, when you get in there, you think that it's just a child's play and stuff, and then before you know it, I mean, like, the ring on the first day, I thought it was the worst thing that ever happened. Um, we, had, we had built camp, we had been building, and then it was raining all day, and all of a sudden, we were done with building the camp, and we thought everything was all good. And then at night, and then this little water was dropping and dropping and dropping, and unfortunately, it started from my own side. And it dropped and dropped and dropped, and then, before you know, the whole roof came down. So all the hard day's work was gone. And then, of course, we thought we couldn't sleep, but I was too tired, and guess what? I put a bucket, I sat down, wore my raincoat, put my head on my knees, and they woke me up in the morning. But in the end of all of this, you triumphed mm -hmm. as an ultimate man. Yeah. How has life been after that? Who is Dominic Mudabai today? Well, um, Dominic Mudabai is founder, lead trainer, Go Fitness.
all the three clans will have to make their way to the mangrove lagoon forest. But first, they will need to find clues that will lead them there. Clan after clan, they walked, ran, rode on tricycles and any other means of transportation. Sports But will they get there before nightfall? It is a race against time. One by one, they made their way to the point of meat in the jungle. group by its color. Not even tiredness or exhaustion could stop them. Till all our 18 warriors were assembled. Our contestants look like they have just seen a ghost when they meet our anchor and taskmaster. Taskmaster, are this the best you could find from the land? Yes, as decreed by the Council of Elders. Have they been refined? A true craftsman is always prepared. Welcome to the jungle. Thank you, Ma. Today, you stand on a path to take your place in the folklore of time. Over 20,000 people began this journey with you. Look around you. Only 18 of you have been deemed worthy to go on this quest. Congratulations. Thank you, Ma. Welcome to Gulda Ultimate Search. Thank you, Ma. I can't hear you. Thank, Thank you, Ma. This is the age of craftsmanship. Introduce yourselves, starting with you. Mfon Mikiel Essen. Obu Oreva Goswell. Oki Bechidima Veronica. Estima Francis Edem. Okoye Tobechiku. Johnson Adedamola Adewale. Jennifer Okore Goodness. Umoren Iniabasi. Agbunile Usasere Jr. Emmanuel Ifan Nebe. Ola Yinka Gabriel Omoya. Emiola Michael Tosin. Odudu Ime Otu. Solomon Iliaya Nkari. Gerald Oganemega Odeka. Bello Omoka Ferrechel. Okpayemi Samuel Ishmael. Damilola Okpolua Odedino. I hear we have some wild cards. Raise your hands to identify yourselves. Congratulations to have finally made it this far. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. The viewers have put their votes of confidence in both of you. I hope you prove them right. Yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. My name is Toke Makingwa. I'm your captain, your host, and that little voice in your head that reminds you that only the fittest will survive this quest. To my left is your taskmaster, Kuli Remi. Now, we both will guide you through this quest. You would not only need your strength, your wit, and your skills, but everything you know and everything you think you know. Need I remind you that many will fall along the way till we find the bravest man or woman who will be the next Gulda Ultimate Warrior. That person will have their names urged in the secret chambers of heroes and go home with a life-changing prize of 50 million naira. Are you ready? Yes, ma. Are you ready? Yes, ma. I can't hear you. Yes, ma. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Thank you ma. The three mats in front of you signifies the three clans that you have been divided into. Taskmaster, I think it's only fair that we name their clans. Very well. Would you do the honors? We have three names for the clans. That is Eri, Iroko and Amor. Very quickly now, would you all decide what clan you would like to belong to? Amor. Amor. Iroko. Iroko. One at a time. Amor. Amor. Iroko. 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 That was quick. Now that you've selected your clan, let me remind you that the jungle is your home. 
This is your home for as long as this quest lasts. The only key thing that you need in this jungle is to survive. Now we've provided some food for you and in only 10 seconds by my clock, you get to pick what you need for your groups. Taskmaster. I would like to please that they have 20 seconds. Please. Please. A good day for your taskmaster as he's decided to extend some grace to you. 20 seconds it is then. Now on my command, you will step forward and pick one item at a time. Place it on your mat. You have 20 seconds. When I say stop, you stop. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. Go. The instructions were clear. One item. Pick That's your one food. item That's your food. at a time. That's your food. But the scramble for food, Stop. even in the jungle, Stop. is Stop. never easy. Back Survival, especially in the jungle, is never easy. If there's anything that I will not condone in this search, and I'm sure she would support that, is when you rush. You just wasted food. There is a punishment for that. No unruly behavior will be tolerated in this camp. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Your taskmaster is greatly upset with you for spilling some food. There are children in Africa who are scrambling to get the food that you just spilled. Now, as the course of this quest goes on, we shall both decide on a befitting punishment for you. Now, look around you. This is the last semblance of civilization you know. All the fancy caps you have on, the necklaces, the wristwatches, it all ends here. If they were ever in doubt, now it's time to face reality. All their fancy items have no place in the jungle. To your right, we have provided some survival kits. These kits are filled with basic things that you need to survive the jungle. Your taskmaster will let you know how you can proceed to pick up your bags. Now, need I also remind you, every bag you see there has your name written on them. So you know what bags belongs to you. Taskmaster. All right, let's go. Take off your belongings. Take off everything. They strip themselves of all fancy jewelry and items not needed in the jungle. Yes, you have everything set in your bags. Now, if I were you, if I'm wearing a face cap, I'll put my belongings in the face cap. If I'm taking off my jacket, I'll put my belongings in my jacket. And if it's my shoes and I have jewelry, I'll put them in the shoe to be safe. To keep your minds at rest, all your personal belongings will be thoroughly looked after, so you have nothing to worry about. Are we done? Yes, sir. Now, each clan, you will carry your food stuff. Form a straight line to your right, and you will find your survival kit, your bags. Now, whatever you cannot carry, you leave behind. I have not said you should go. We're gonna have a big problem in this jungle, and that is when you don't listen. You listen. Listening is easy if you do actually listen. Hope our 18 warriors learn that soon enough. Discipline is something that we hold to a very high standard. Until you hear go, you do not move. It's time that they get their kits and prepare for life in go. the jungle. They can only take what they can carry. They will need to figure this out. Whatever you cannot carry, you leave behind, like I said. But it's time to move on. Air peace, your peace. Our anchor and taskmaster brood on this issue of listening. It might just be some Achilles heel eventually. <laughs> they search for their bags, trying to identify who has what. Some sort of confusion as this goes on. Osas can't seem to find his. 
Looks like young Kari has found Omoya's own. Omoya, they tell you, I don't know. Omoya eventually takes it from young Kari. This is 42 now. This is the video. I mean, the bag with this. So, this is one side three. But wait a minute. There is some sort of confusion with Omoya. He can't find a leg of his pair of sandals. Maybe he needs to go back to where they picked their kit. Omoya looks reluctant to check and thinks it wasn't added to his kit. So go, Yankari. Yoko. Yankari. I only want this in I see. I only want one this in Sanda. Are you sure? Yeah. There's one I saw there. Uh, yeah. That place we carried back. One sander. I saw one sander. Uh -huh. Even Chidima thinks so. But probably it's filled with So I saw one sander. Let's get it now. Yeah. 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 No, he did there. Yeah. 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 I see him. Is it? I see him. Tell them. We'll probably check on our way. No, I think it should be bad. Well, if he feels it was a strategy by someone to slow him down, we'll see. <laughs> Anything can happen in the jungle. It could be, it could be a strategy to slow me down. But it's a jungle. I expect nothing less. I'm prepared for what's coming next. But meanwhile, there is no time to check time. Something tells me we have not heard the last of this sandal issue. Let's hope one of the forest keepers sees it. It will soon be dusk and they will still need to build their camp if they can locate the place. They set out, following the trail and clues for direction. <laughs> Cracking jokes helps them bridge time and keeps their spirits high as well. Even singing too. What do you don't see? What do you don't Our contestants have been trying to locate the place they will build their camp for a while now. The arrow sign gives them a clue on the directions to go. Which door the one will put? Uh, where is this floor? I bet the loop of the as well. The jungle is vast, and it will take some navigation for them to trace where they are going. Uh, it looks like our sojourners have come to a dead end. They have lost their way. Tobey thinks they should go left, as the sign says. But others think the arrow should guide them in the direction. The majority seem to agree with that line of thought. Finally, they make their way to the right spot. Nothing much to call it a home, but this will be their residence for the time they will spend 
in the forest. Where the anchor and taskmaster were already waiting. I see that you've all found your kits and you're all well suited up. Now welcome to your base. Thank you. Thank you. This is home for as long as the quest is on. Now as you can see, we have come through the forest to find you a path where you can lay your heads and call your homes. But the challenge there is, you get to make this place habitable for yourselves. Your taskmaster will come forward and let you know what you need to do to build your homes and make this place your base. All right, everyone step forward, grab one element, please. Everyone, let's go. You can drop your stuff, you don't have to carry your load. Safety first. They are given helmets and gloves to protect them. Now the helmets you pick should represent the clan that you represent. The helmets have been provided as shelter so you do not bang your heads while you make this place your home. There are also gloves, Taskmaster. All right, now you have gloves, you have ropes, you have mats, you have something wrapped in right behind you. You have every material you need to set up your camp. Might I add this? is your first task. It's time to build the base camp. There is strength in numbers, they say, but some think they should work independently of each other as a clan. Now the very first task has been given to our 18 contestants. They have to make this jungle their home. How well do you think they would do? I thought they would come together, strategize, find out which goes where, because the team has provided all the materials that they need to make this place as habitable as you can imagine. I can't wait to see them tomorrow to find out what they come up with. <laughs> well, till good counsel prevails, the taskmaster dishes out some instructions. If only they will listen. Listen up, guys. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Pay attention. This is not a block of flats for each clan. This is a one big family residency, all right? So I'm not expecting you to divide yourselves or build for each clan. It's open for everybody, all right? Okay, good luck, continue. All right. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out how we are going to balance the whole structure in order to get a conducive uh, uh, resting place for us. But so far, so good. We are progressing the way I see it. Now that they decided to work as a group, irrespective of clans, I guess it will be a lot easier for them to build their camp before nightfall. Or would it really? Okay, we just um, located our camp and we are trying to make our shelter. So everybody is just trying to figure out what is what, which one is for the roof, which one is for the length, which one is for the breadth. This should go first. The roof one like go two. Then this should go because I bet you can drop the matches at the way you are. Thank you. I noticed that from the right side of the, the building, there are some of the bamboo trees, bamboo um, wood, uh, mark arrow. We represent the right side of it. And then they have arrow one, number from one to six. Then we, didn't, we couldn't find arrow six we, we found arrow one to five so when we wanted to like erect that particular part we got confused along the line but after we finished erecting that site we were able to discover the arrow six that brings another confusion that's the reason why I love to think and calculate before I take any action because I told them earlier let's calculate for let's think enough there could be one piece missing you can't just go ahead and start doing this thing like this uh, right about now we're trying to build the tent where we're going to be staying uh, everybody collectively together so we have some people trying to do the roof we have the tall guys there trying to fix the roof and then the rest of us are trying to work on the sides as well and then uh, we plan to
to do the base last because uh, I think that's best because we're losing daylight right now. The sun is almost down, so I think it's uh, best we do with the roof first. So much motion, no movement it seems. It doesn't look like they are making much progress, I must say. But safety first. And the taskmaster needed to remind them about this. Okay, guys, wait, 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 wait. One second, one second, one second. Um, I remember being in the jungle, you always have accidents. So, for your own safety, I would advise you to go wear your boots so you don't enjoy yourself. Things are a little coordinated now, but not so much. The Situa seems to have an idea, but doesn't look like anyone is listening. I discovered that some of the bamboo had um, B with some numbers written on it, some had L with numbers written on it, and some had um, R with some numbers written on it. I think B should go to the back. Guys, calm down. Guys, calm down. Some of them are. Some of them are. Let's be wise. Some of these are. Let's be wise. One at a time. One at a time. Listen now. Listen. Let's be wise. Perfect. Let's do the roof first. In case, let's just do the roof first, then this, the, the side, we can fix the side, but the roof first, so that we can have somewhere to move high. Arguments and counter arguments. Looks like our warriors this time around just love to hear their voices with no one really listening. We have a roof and a big. We have a team here. Let's stop here. Once we stop this now, this work will move. Under 20 minutes, we're done. Yes, you guys just go for all the arrows. All the arrows. It's not really difficult in building the house. It's just that the noise in the camp is too much and nobody's even listening. It's like a marketplace. Everybody have a paradigm or a perspective on building the house, which is good, but sometimes we, need, we should learn to listen to each other and know what to do. Yes. So one of them has to do this. So this guys, one 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 guys, 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 the taskmaster is frustrated about this commotion going on and needed to step in. Okay, guys, 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 wait, 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 hold up, hold up. You have different alphabets, right? Yes, sir. So R stands for what? Roof. L stands for what? Lens. Ah. That's why I said this is very brilliant. You guys are so smart. And B stands for what? What if R stands for right and L stands for left? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right. The taller guys band together to face the roofing. Mikel thinks he knows better. He seems to be impatient with some of his co-contestants. If I am an, um, an in near Basi, they are not paying attention. They are just going with the flow. I mean, for them, anything goes for them. Okay, they are not being calculative enough, and it's very, very annoying. I don't work with those kind of people. I love to be calculative. I love to think. I love to reason before I take any action. But these guys are not actually reasoning enough, and becoming very difficult, making the whole task difficult for me and the rest of the team. But they are not listening to us. Yeah, I wouldn't know that, but I've been bringing up very, very good suggestions so far, and I've been working with the guys on the side as well. That's the wrong one. Leave there. Oh, no. like, back. 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 Okay. Back. Okay. Back. Okay. Where are you going to? So, I think everybody has their strengths, everybody has their weaknesses, and uh, those with the strengths are, are putting it to, to good use. I think this is solid enough. This is solid enough. Near Basi. This is solid enough. What are you saying? Don't be saying like you're all coming out. Real life. This is solid enough. You okay? I'm going to the different side. No, 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 no,
It was easy all along. All they needed was patience to observe and know what to do. Last one. We're still doing under. Uh, get you from here. Yeah. Take it down. Mm -hmm. At last, things begin to take shape. What are they really? Go, 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 go. Go, guys, remember, preference is to cover it to the end. Yeah, leave space here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go down to the end. Definitely. Let's go back to the end. The front, the front. The front. You won't sleep here now. You sleep inside. We are in some sort of conundrum with the roofing of their camp. They are short of building materials for the roof. But someone is getting innovative here. Engineer Omoya thinks they should draw a map. Hmm. I wonder how he thinks that will help without an architect. I guess he hasn't realized that he's in the jungle. Well, so far so good. Um, I think we are all trying, just that we, the instructions that, that we are trying to give ourselves are not being listened to. But the way this uh, taskmaster spoke, I felt a clue in what he said. So I didn't want to argue at first because we're just coming to camp. I don't, I don't want to act as if I know it all. To the best of my knowledge, people have been bringing up good suggestions, good ideas, and everybody's trying to put in some form of effort one way or the other and everyone has to pitch in to build the camp. This is like the step, so there's space under. All right. Give me floor, you can't, so let's try. Let's see, let's see. Come on down. Come on. Cool like this. This is our We can do that. This is our first. I don't know. You don't play, you don't play more now. Let's finish. Hey, who's on this? Hey, no problem, Mikael. Continue. This is my own. The ladies dug in as much as the men. Truly, what a man can do, they say, a woman can as well. <laughs> little by little, the structure was taking shape. Let's go, let's go. The floorboards are put in place. Yeah, 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 it's fine. It's at your cost. Don't worry, let's move it. Welcome to the jungle. This is the age of craftsmanship. The Golder Ultimate Search, Season 12. Night gradually falls in camp. Well, we are trying to build our tents and we are kind of having lots of challenges right from the beginning to now. First, we had arguments of where to start and how to start it. At the end of the day, we were able to come up with something. But right now, we are kind of having issue with our roof. The center roof is kind of falling down now. We are looking for a way to raise it up. Some guys are already taking care of that. As you can see behind, we just finished making our tents for the night. This is where we'll be sleeping for the rest of our camping here. And at first it was as if we weren't going to make it on time, but we had to come together as a whole team, not individually, but as a team to put our heads together and make everything work out. On a scale of 1 to 100, I would say we're like, on the task for today, we're on 50, 60, because we still haven't fixed up, um, I think, the bedrooms, um, toilets, and I think the windbreakers from the front of the building. So 
we're not yet done, we're still on it, so I feel tomorrow we're going to continue. Today's task was to build up our tent, where we'll spend the rest of our time here. It was a bit challenging in the beginning because everybody had opinions and everybody wanted to be listened to. But at the end of the day, we figured it out and with teamwork, we did, a, I think, a pretty job. Literally, I feel, I feel tired, to be honest with you. But the, the good thing about it is that um, for the fact that we were able to achieve what we wanted, how we wanted it to be um, is quite inspiring. Like, um, I'm tired, but that doesn't mean that when there's another objective, I can't do it. But um, from what we've done, um, I feel tired and I'm, I'm very happy that I'm here. Um, I'm very happy that I'm part of this. I'm so tired, I can kill for water now. There's no pad inside. Thank you. Are you sure? I removed the pad, I was tight. Who's going to have to go for water? It's better, yeah. The pad is inside my bag. I beg, I need water. Okay, I do a drink. So you keep it yourself. Okay. Where is the rope for this? Filling their stomachs seems more of a worry now than the comfort of sleep. Who can give me that bread? Where is the pepper? Which bread? That would have bread. Yes, now you can have two bread. Yes, now you can have two bread. Okay, well, I'll have a deal. Guy, got ready for back. Okay. Like, I'll have to go shower. Yeah, like, that's like so what are we going to eat first? Now, let's figure out food before beating. See, this so. is cooking. We should not cook separate at least this night, even if we now add one touch. Just add some. Who's your name? This job, what do you want to do? With the amount. Everybody, would they bring red oil? Would they bring red oil? All of us equalize the thing now. Are you equalize or not? You bring red oil. Good thing they all decided to pull all their food stuff together. Else, some would have had only oil to eat. But there is a problem. What will they cook? We'll just do porridge rice. Is it porridge? I mean, jollof rice. No salt, though. Rice cake this night. They realize there is no salt. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Who cooks without salt? Maybe our warriors are an exception. They eat their food. Salt or no salt? Where is the pot you wash now? Let me catch, let me catch fire again, so that this thing doesn't go. Yeah. Can you say no? Can you say no? No, because you made that thing a chemical. Huh? Say on it again. So let's go. Okay. Use this one now. Wait first. It's not about crazy. If you use only crazy, it's on and then it will go off again. As the night wears on. They try to loosen up with some music and getting to know each other more. Where are your plates now? What are your plates now? This is your very sad. 
I swear. Oh my God! This is my own, and that they are one. Oh my God! You know, one one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say this one 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 one. Let's ball. Let's ball. Yeah. But they have passed. I beg. Because we have no. No, don't don't quit. Let's ball. Yeah, that they give you. Let me size now. Let me size. If you are here, that's they put oil for people now. They are asking for oil. I mean, I made a statue in your face. I'm not putting again until I put for everybody. Thank you very much. Hey, you got your engineer, Nashu. Why give you a size? Someone here be like two. Someone here be like two. I don't understand my own See this one too. I'm a bitch of my after that is true. You know who got more than one? What's up now, Grace? Because today you're now you light the fire. Now you find me. You're the lawyer now. No, all of us not there. This is father, have your way. Now, best day with this, you're going to go out. I'm satisfied. Okay. People are wrong because of food. Who has it gotten oil? Give me oil. The director is here. The big fish will jump. Don't go down, my job. Seven people haven't gotten food. What the fuck? Now, you know, you do not manage them now. Yeah, they're not manage them now. I never drink water. You don't want water. You don't want water. You don't want water. Don't be like, say I choose to be quiet. The water will come back. You don't want water. 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 Wait, now let me answer you. With a bath, right? Yeah. We carry a lantern for this side to make reflection of light no rituals. Okay. That's for a purpose, right? Okay. Then now, uh, him carrying that lighter to pass at that place, that's what got us upset. When you guys are having your bag here, don't you tell us to leave that place? Problem, so why can't he go back? Do you, know, do you know where I the told problem him is? To go back. You guys are on the road. You guys are on the road. That's what you don't know. They were here. 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 You need to, you need to. Because you don't have home training. Yeah. He took a lantern that when he was approaching, he said, Nigga, please, we're having our bath. Come back. He said that he would, that he's not looking at us. Why did he take our lantern? For him to come and pick our lantern where we kept it, that means it was a deliberate act. And all this while, he didn't go to fetch water. It was immediately he heard that we are having our bath. That was when he remembered that he didn't do our fetch water. And he came and waited for you to fetch water. Yes. He went and took our lantern from where we kept it. No, it doesn't make sense. And he's here to be an effect. He's ignorant. Are you not supposed to be honest? If you want to bath. This is not the place we go. See, my dear, you go. You pass go fetch it. And I was going like this. I carry this like this. I don't reach here. I tell me say, wait, wait. I come and say, okay, say I'm not. I'm facing here. I'm not facing this side. You want to try to defend? You want 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 to defend? You I the skies look like it might rain. Maybe the heavens have a welcome gift for them. Some showers of blessings. They gradually settle in for their first night in the jungle.
Buddha Ultimate Search is back. Showing Saturdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. on these channels. Let the adventure begin. Last night at the camp. I'm so tired, I can queue for water now. There's no pad inside. Are you serious? I didn't have a pad, I was tight. I took a magical power there. But was it better after here? It's better, yeah. Firstly, when we arrived, everyone was fighting for space. So we had to tell, we actually wanted to do it in clans, but we had to tell them that, guys, I don't think this is a competition. Let's just get ready to lay our heads. We are in the jungle. If we want to do, let's eat the food we have. Some people eat raw food today. So I think we just come together and bring our stuffs together and see which one is okay for us to eat. So we have to prepare yam. Though we don't have any, we don't have uh, ingredients, but then we have to come together to decide that we're going to eat yam. And then, so though the girls were doing it, that, but I was putting them on how to blow the fire. And the they just saying that them champions do what they hate to get what they want. So if your mind is set on something very important, you know why you came here, you know what you aim to achieve. So food should be the least of your problem, you know. The time is going to come, I don't know if it's going to come, but the time is going to come where there won't be any food at all and you should be expected to carry out a lot of tasks. What do you do at that point in time? So I want to like punish myself last night, like let me see what it feels like not to eat and then and to carry out a lot of tasks. So I want to be different from everybody. Just as day breaks, heralding a new day, so do our contestants wake up one after the other. Good morning, though. I'm going to avoid me this morning. I'm going to pray. Olayanka seems to have found a new pet, a millipede. Hmm, interesting. Ah! Hey! Hey! Okay, see. You know, I don't say cobra. I say Ossetian cobra. Oh, oh, that, that, no, 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 no. Cut that. You go Ossetian cobra. Let me cobra. Now you know what you don't hear Ossetian cobra before. Most of them are just saying, "I say now." He goes ahead to display his hunting skills. I believe he would need it on the quest. But someone should tell him. He wouldn't be facing enemies like millipedes, but real threats to his survival. The camp was soon filled with singing by our contestants, with Tosin, Chidima, and Solomon acting as lead soloists. The road is rough and somebody got to be strong. It was singing, dancing, and general fun. The entertainment is of a new level. Maybe something to calm their fears and lift their spirits. But whatever it was, it was fun. Tobijuku found solace in drinking Gary. Others picked beans for breakfast. Everyone just found ways to do one thing or the other to keep their hands and minds busy. What a busy morning it's turning to be in Camp Amaroki. And the day hasn't even started yet. Our anchor and taskmaster come visiting to see how our contestants are doing and how they fared with their first task of building their camp. Good morning, contestants. Avengers assemble. <laughs> Good morning, contestants. I see that you have done the best that you could to make the jungle hospitable for you. Yes, ma'am. How was your first night here? Awesome. Let me just remind you that the jungle is what it is. 
and not what you're used to. You would need a separate skill of survivor to make it through this jungle. Is there anything you'd like to talk to me about? No, ma. Speak. As I said to you, you would need a special set of skills to survive this jungle. Whatever the team decides to do about that will be communicated to you. Now here there was some sort of confusion last night. Does anybody want to talk to me about that? Well, if you wouldn't speak, I would share what I thought about your first task with you. Are you all listening? Yes, ma'am. Every single thing you needed to make yourself a beautiful home was provided for you. But somehow I couldn't understand why there was some sort of confusion and argument. You've been divided into clans, and I expect that for each clan, there should be a spokesperson. The first thing I expected you to all do together was strategize, look through all the things that you've been given, but you spent so much time arguing. You were not on the clock, but yet you guys couldn't figure it out. Your taskmaster came forward and gave you certain clues, yet you guys couldn't figure this out. You've done an okay job, but let me just remind you that to go fast, you go alone. But to go far, you all need each other. In this camp, teamwork will get you further than you can ever imagine. Now, all that being said, yesterday is gone. Today is another day with a new set of challenging tasks awaiting you all. It's a slippery slope. And let me just break it to you. Some might sleep. Taskmaster, are you ready? Your ability to listen and process information will be your undoing as you progress on this journey. Are you ready for today's task? Yes, sir. You sound very hungry. Are you ready for today's task? Yes, sir. All right, Iroko, Henry and Amor, your flags. One person from each group. Now that's the flag you are going to assemble and mount in front of your residence. You figured that out? And fix it. All right? Yes, sir. Now, before you leave, I want to ask, how well do you think this will withstand the rain? Time will tell. Now, I need to hear some enthusiasm because we are going to need it today. Your task today, as I said, is even more challenging than that of yesterday. Get ready for your task, everybody. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, your boots. There is work to be done. Listen up, guys. You would prune every tree, everything around you, every tree you see around you, so you don't have anything crawling underneath, OK? Looks like they have a message. Execute the instructions given by your tax master. So you mount your flags that you received here, here, and there. Three lines. The new Gulga, now crafted with passion. Also available in 45 CL bottles and 44 CL cans. Okay, talking about Mikael, Mikael does not hear a word. That's number one. Literally, he does not hear a word, and character-wise, he does not hear a word. Like, you can tell Mikael, Mikael, stay in a straight line. He'll be like, that's when he wants to go and look for water. Or that's when he wants to go and check something out. Why I said he does not hear a word? Because sometimes we've been, we, we could just be next to each other like this. You tell him, this, this is what um, this person said, do. or Mikael, do this, so this is what we need at the moment. He will not hear you and you like you'll be like, Mikael, Mikael, you will not turn also, oh, but we see the talk, we see the talk. We then have to repeat all over again. Mikael, right from time, Mikael has been he doesn't stay in one place. I don't know. He always has this restless kind of attitude. One time he's here, the other time is the other side. He, 
Most times, even wake up, he wakes up at midnight and just starts wandering around. Most times, I would just notice someone is awake and walking up and down. I would open my eyes. It's Mikkel. Oh, God, what is it now? Ah! Yes, I'm sorry. Why do you always act like you? You said that we are going to count this thing and count it. No, no, no. Calm down. Never knew flag hoisting could cause so much commotion. I guess that's just too much testosterone exhibiting itself with Mikel and Damilola. He always has this kind of attitude of wanting to be heard or wanting to give or wanting his own opinion to be what we are working with. He had a little issue when we were trying to raise up the flag. He had, I think that was with um, Damilola. He gave a suggestion and Damilola is one person that doesn't listen to someone's opinion too. So I think that's why they had that clash. The alteration was all about um, the fact that I was under pressure because I didn't know if there was going to be a reward for who confessed, if there was going to be a punishment for whoever come last among the three clowns. So I actually wanted my clown to come um, first. But then when Damilola was trying to like slow us down, so along the line I lost my temper. I had to like raise my voice on him and I'm truly sorry for that. They have been instructed to give their camp a name. Hope this would go with less rancor. Craftsman's Palace. Craftsman's Palace. Craftsman's Palace. It's democracy. See, somebody should bring the third option so that we can craft 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 is a suggestion. So why not say Amoroki? Amoroki is like combining the three names, the three clans mm -hmm. together yeah, to make yeah, Amoroki come. If you are going to say If you are If you are not going to say me. The beauty of democracy manifests as votes are taken. The eyes have it. Camp Amoroki, it will be called. I miss good food. I miss the food. Like, like seriously, I miss the food. I, I, I ate the uh, very worst food of my life this morning and I finished it, so... That, was, that, was, that says a lot. Like, I missed the food. <laughs> we had rice with pepper and onions with no salt. Didn't know we had green singers among us. Our contestants had engaged themselves by singing. <laughs> Something tells me they might need more than believing in angels to see them through the many rigors and obstacles in their time in this jungle. <laughs> Jennifer is like the life of the part of the house. <laughs> if you want your, your ribs cracking, just look for Jennifer's trouble. She'll tell you everything that you don't want to hear. I see her as an entertaining person. And uh, she's cool. Sometimes our trouble actually makes me feel cracky. I'm just keeps me alive. Hello, <laughs> 
When it rains, it pours, they say. How well will our contestants come fair against the elements? It looks like they're about to be tested by one. Mm -mm, not so good, I dare say. The rain had its way. They didn't even have a say with their properties. Soaked. Oh well, I guess they will have to lick their wounds, fixing their leaky roof, and drying their wet mats and belongings. What a day this is turning out to be. Let's say, maybe a welcome to jungle life and of things to come. Air peace, your peace, Argo. Our contestants officially begin their journey in the jungle with today's task called Slippery Slope. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is going to be a teamwork. You will take your ropes from that stand, go through the barrel tunnel, wait for each team member, on the other side. Then you proceed to the A board. You go over the board, you descend to the other side and wait for your team members to meet you on the other side. You go across the T ladder over there, cross over to the side and you see a crate on the other end. Now your ropes will be hauled over the crates and you pull the crates back to your starting point. Now when you get here, there are puzzle pieces in the crates that will help you complete the puzzle in front of you. Now the best news for today is the fact that someone will be evicted from a clan. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Go. This is going to be interesting. How are they going to navigate this challenge? Which clan will emerge winners? Let's see. Come on guys, come on, teamwork, teamwork, pull yourselves through, come on. Everyone through the tunnel, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. That's the spirit, jump, jump. If you slide down, you go back up. Let's go, come on. Fantastic jump. That was good effort. Finally, we have someone on the A board. Keep jumping. When I say jump, you ask me how high. Keep jumping, jump, jump. Get over the board, come on. Come on guys, you keep sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sliding down to starting point. Come on, I want you on the other side. Come on. Work together, teamwork. Yes, that's the grit I like to see. That's the tenacity, that's it. That's what I'm talking about.
If you have to climb each other's hands, climb and get to the top. Let's go, let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. You know that warriors do not quit. We stay till the end. We fight till the end. We stand tall. We jump if we have to. Come on. You are not given the title of a warrior. You earn it. Show me that you are a warrior. You are here for a reason. The Gold Ultimate Surge is for those who are willing to go the extra mile. Are you? I want to meet the warriors inside of you. Come on, guys, make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Do you think that's the smartest way to carry the box? Yes, that's the greet I like to see. That's the tenacity. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. If you're tired, you can quit now. But you know the warriors do not quit. Let's go, let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. I want to see the soldiers in you. I want to see the warriors in you. If I were you, I would not let my clan come last. That is a very, very, very bad idea. Hey, I'm our clan. You will go back and start all over again. Your legs should not touch the side bars. All right, go back and start all over again. Same with Inri clan, you will go back and start all over again without your legs touching the side bars. Some people are still trying to hang over and cross over while some people are already pulling. Iroko clan is pulling. Iroko clan seems to be taking the lead. Iroko is definitely standing tall. One would have expected the Iron Clan to come first because they are the Iron Clan. But the slippery slope is not about the name, but about greed, tenacity, and teamwork. Come on, guys, come on. Pull if you have to pull. Push if you have to push and drag that box if you have to drag it. Get it to the puzzle board. Come on. The Iroko tree always stands tall in the forest. The Iroko clan lives up to the village. They are standing tallest. Come on guys, I said you should pull if you have to, or push if you have to, just get the box to the puzzle board. Come on!
you tired? Vamo, show me what you are made of. Earring, leave to the expectation. Come on, guys. Pull, push, or drive. Introducing the new Goulder with every taste and adventure, now crafted with passion. Teamwork, 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 teamwork. Let's go, let's go, come on guys, come on, come on. A clan will lose a member today. Rachel, be in charge. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. This is a good ultimate search. I want to be an ultimate man. I want to be an ultimate man. Oh, hey, 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 if I were you, I would not be so excited yet. You haven't fulfilled that, okay? That's not the answer. Listen to me. It is not gray, white, gray. One side is one color. Thank you very much. Step aside. Hiroko! Hiroko! Like I told them on the other side, I said it is not, it is one color, not mixed color. That's a hint. It is one color, not mixed color. That's a hint. Teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. <sighs> what are you celebrating? I have not satisfied your work. What are you celebrating? I have not satisfied your work. I can't see your work. I can't see what you've done. Beginning, 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 beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step aside. Congratulations. What is what is what is this? Iroko, Iri, and Amo, step forward. Iroko comes first place. A round of applause for yourselves. Amo comes second place. And Aaron comes third place. At the beginning, I said to you that someone will be evicted from the weakest clan. Aaron, tonight, at the place of the talking drum, cancel about those who decide. All right, head back to your camp, and we will see you at the place of the talking drum tonight. Good luck, guys. Nice one. Good job. Good job. Some people are sad, some people are happy, but the place of a talking drum will determine their fate. Alright, Chinese call me Shitian, Japanese say Jikanganai.
today's task done, our warriors are back in camp. From the task today, I would not say we got it wrong. We put in our best, actually. The other things were just faster. We had some little issues um, moving the boxes back to the baseline. It was quite difficult because we had less strength, so we had to re-strategize. I brought my A-game into the whole thing, physicality, mental strain, alertness and everything. Because I knew the girl definitely, you don't expect them to be that strong physically. Probably mentally they could provide. So I was surprised my team members didn't understand that particular fact and they let us down. I'm not going to blame anybody too, I have to blame myself too, because I hate losing. But at the end of the day, it's a teamwork. We lose some, we win some. What was going through my mind when the tax started was the thing the tax master said when he said, one person from the losing team would go home tonight. And definitely I do not want anybody from my team to go home because it would be a minus to us too. When I was climbing the air obstacle, all I was hearing is my team telling me I can do it. And I had to tell myself too that I can do it. And all I was about was to just get to the other side and just make my team proud. So we don't know what's going to happen at the place of the talking jump. I just play, I just pray it's not going to be a disaster for any of us. But I'm feeling bad. You don't expect me to be very happy. And the night draws to an end at the revered place of the talking drum. The first night of indoctrination for our warriors. You are all seated on stools that great warriors have sat on from generation to generation. Many have dreamt and fought battles just to be in this hallowed chamber of warriors, but they never made it. 18 of you have been deemed worthy to be part of the few to enjoy this privilege. Welcome to the place of the talking drum. Thank you, sir. This is the place where we discuss everything and anything. It is a sanctuary where the Council of Elders rewards and punishes. It's also a place where they pass messages and information to aid your quest. And most importantly, it is a temple where decisions of eviction takes place. Your host has been summoned by the Council of Elders for more deliberation about your quest. The journey to a true craftsmanship is one with skill, mastery, artistry, and technique. Be guided. Once again, I welcome you to the place of the talking drum. Thank you, sir. It rained heavily and your 18 bedroom bungalow fell apart. How did you cope? It wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy? No, it wasn't. Why wasn't it easy? I mean, it's rain. Well, it, it all caved in. The roof caved in, and then we had water splashed on our bags, on our, our nets, even our matches. So we had to just quickly find a way to improvise and then fill the situation as fast as we could. Wow. I mean, I thought there were engineers amongst you. Because when you were given the task to set up your camp, I saw you guys going back and forth with, you know, let's put this here, let's do this, let's do that. What happened to the engineers? It wasn't strong enough? The contractors we gave the roof to didn't do a good job. The yeah. contractors? Yes. Ah, you didn't pay them well? They siphoned it, we did, they siphoned it, they okay. mismanaged it. Went on sabbatical. Okay. <coughs> so when the, rain, when the rain subsided, you had to reconstruct it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You did it under the rain? Yes, sir. Welcome to the jungle. Thank you, Thank you sir. So now you're telling me that your camp is 45. Mm. Reasonably. It is not because we had some leakages tonight. This is the jungle. We are not in control of the rain and it's still going to rain. I hope you are prepared for that. Yes, sir. Today's task, your very first task. Can anyone remind me what the consequences would be if a team loses? Very correct. Somebody from your team will be evicted tonight. Aaron Clan, stand. 
Can you tell me why you lost? We tried as much to move as fast as we could, but then pulling the crate was so heavy for us because we were not as strong as the other team. But then Dana was standing, we still tried all we could to move. As you know, there will be consequences. This black pot in the middle. Now in that pot, there are five black pebbles and one white pebble. Whoever picks the white pebble, you know what that means. You will be evicted tonight. One after the other, step to the pot. Do not look into the pot. Do not look into your hands or open your hand until I tell you so. When you're picking your pebble, you lock eye with me. your pebble. You step forward, stretch out your hand, do not open it until I say so. Open your hand. 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 You know what this means, right? Yes, sir. All of your five team members have black pebbles. It only means one thing. How do you feel? I feel nervous. But it's obvious that your road ends here. And you seem like the strength of the team. Do you have any regrets? Not really. Because as a team, we did uh, all we could. I pushed the team to do all we could as a team. And, uh, is what it is. Stretch out your hand. Unfortunately, your journey and the goal that ultimate search. Open your hand. Your journey continues. Step back. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now I'm, I'm quite, quite surprised because it seems like. Lock is on your side, Aaron Clan. Seems like the Council of Elders are merciful. This is a very, very rare situation. And I hope you do not take it for granted. No, sir. Does anyone have anything to say? Thank you for the opportunity, sir. It's not me. I didn't, I didn't put the pebbles of sorrow in the pot. We appreciate the council of elders for giving us a second chance. She's speaking for everybody? Yes, sir. yes sir. Today's task was about teamwork. I hope you have all learned something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because in the Golden Ultimate Search, once you're in a clan or you're in a team, it is all for one and one for all. You will head back to your camp. Tomorrow is another day. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. Go, go, go. Ultimate Search is back. Showing Saturdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. on these channels. Let the adventure begin.